Hey guys, all right, let's do this workout. Um, I am a little closer up, so I'm, I'm trying to work with the frame a little bit. I'm actually using front tool view camera. Um, traditionally, I use the other one um, because I can zoom out a lot more, but it's coming out really dark for some reason and I haven't quite figured it out. I'm not, I mean, it's a simple phone, right? But I, I'll be done sometimes. So I haven't figured it out. I will work on it. So hopefully this frame works for you guys at home. Um, hopefully I don't cut off too much top or bottom okay but let's get on to this workout you guys have uh, box dips today uh, we also have um, box jumps burpees and clean and jerks okay so we'll get on with that and get you guys started um, your range of motion again if you guys have your hold on it's probably dark in here boom magic if you guys have uh, your broom or your pvc pipe your mop whatever it is you guys might have Whew. go ahead and grab that it's going to be very handy for the uh following videos okay so go ahead and start out with your pass throughs all right you guys being mindful to shrug on the way up this is also going to give a lot of activation to our scapular muscles whoop see you see how this is dangerous all right so here right you still get a pretty good pass through but i want you guys to activate through the shoulder right here so you actually work through those scapular muscles you're going to go ahead and do 10 then we're going to go for our good mornings on your good morning guys when you're dropping down to position one right loading make sure that these knees are stacking over your ankle so it's very common for me to see this you see how my knees are like in that's an inactive glute the knees caving in you're not recruiting any of these muscles so make sure that you guys are aligning here so you're getting a really good tug through that posterior chain coming up and then squeezing the glutes at the top. That's where the magic happens. And then we're gonna go ahead and open up a little wider and we're gonna go cross for 10. Okay, so you're gonna do 10 of everything pretty much. Um, after that, I want you to go ahead and grab PVC pipe on the front and you're gonna go for those leg swings. You'll do 10 here and then you're also gonna do 10 forward and back. Do that on both legs 10 10 10 all the way through and then when you're done with all of those we're going to go ahead and circle back all over with our around the world so i want you guys to go for five to the left and then we'll go with five to the right okay and that's that that's going to be your range of motion we're going to go ahead and move on over to your skill so for this skill you guys will need a sturdy chair an ottoman um Anything that you feel safe with putting your weight on, if it's not sturdy, don't use it. I'm gonna use my couch to show you guys how to do it, but um, it's not a sturdy surface, it's very squishy. So I don't recommend that you guys do it off your couch. What I did see one of our members do though was lift up one of the, the pillows and use the actual sturdy part underneath. So that's another good option, but use what you can okay so it's going to be an eight minute imam that means that you have 60 seconds to complete 10 box dips there is a scale down option for eight and for six i believe but everyone um I, i'm pretty sure you guys got 10 within a minute now the way i want you guys to do these box dips okay is being mindful of your range of motion so how do we do that i don't want you guys to just wrap them out okay i want you guys to take time on the way down i'm gonna show you what i mean with that Okay, so I like to set my heels out with my toes pointed up. Okay, I know some of you like to keep your feet flat. That's also okay. But with the feet flat, what tends to happen is you guys will start pushing away. So you see how I'm going forward and then down? You're defeating the purpose of recruiting the muscle. Okay, you're just kind of pushing yourself off. So be mindful that your feet are gonna stay flat, that you're still aligning yourself with the couch and you're going straight down and up. So it's almost like your butt should touch the floor, if you notice, okay? So now, what I was saying with range of motion, make sure that you guys are going all the way down and up, or as low as you can manage. So think about it almost like a tempo, going one, two, three, one. And at the top, make sure that you're actively pressing and firing up and squeezing the tricep muscle, boom, right here. Okay, so I'll show you what that'll look like. We'll go for 10. I'm not gonna do 10, but I'm gonna show you what I mean with coming down. One, two, three, press. One, two, three, press, right? So take time to come down and really feel that muscle out. You're gonna feel a better workout through just those 10 uh, every minute than actually repping them out, 
okay? If you're working at home with rings, try to do the same thing. Try to work on that tempo. Um, if you have a band, use a band. Um, if you're using parallettes or two boxes, same thing, guys, okay? So try to work on that full range of motion versus just kind of doing these bro reps here, all right? So that's going to be your skill. Set up an eight-minute timer, and every minute, you're going to do 10, okay? Um, when you're done with this skill, you have three rounds of 15 box jumps, 15 burpees, and then 15 clean and jerks. So for the box jumps, for those of you that don't have anything to do box jumps on or you're just not, you don't feel safe, feel free to do step ups, okay? Another good alternate for these that I like to recommend is tuck jumps, okay? Get used to having that power movement in your workouts now. Um, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, step ups, again, you guys can use your couch. I would prefer that you use something sturdy, but again, use what you have. If you will use your couch, make sure that you're stepping and you're stabilizing that ankle as much as you can because the, the, the squishiness of the couch might bring your foot in and out and we don't want you guys to hurt your ankles, okay? So make sure that you're being mindful of how you're stepping on the couch. All right, tuck jumps, which is the one that I recommend, okay? I want you guys to bring your hands out like this, like at a 90 degree angle. And as you take off, the goal is that you bring the leg towards the hand, not the hand towards the leg, okay? So coming down, tap, that's one, okay? That's two. And that's the kind of tuck jump that I want you to do. Don't necessarily go for speed. Focus on the two foot takeoff, two foot landing, and landing lightly also be kind to your joints, okay? And if that's not happening, go ahead and do your step ups. Um, after that, we have your burpees. You guys already know how to do burpees. Something that I've seen now that some of us are back at the gym, I've seen uh, a few of you bringing your knees a little too far under your chest, okay? So remember that you want to avoid all that impact. And what I mean with that is coming down here, okay? So you see how I'm tucking my knees under my chest pretty much, and then coming back out, and then boom. This is a no-no. Avoid this as much as you can. The best way to fix that is widen your stance when you're coming down, almost like you're about to do an inchworm, okay? So widen the stance, send the legs back a little wider. As you're pressing yourself up, stay wide. Bring your hands towards, I'm sorry, your legs towards your hands almost in a wider stance, but your feet are flat. So you want to avoid landing on the toe. You want to avoid having too much bend at the knee especially beneath you, okay? So, again, no bueno here. We don't want this. What we do want is sturdy, out, wide, and stand, okay? So that's for your burpee. Let's talk about a clean. So for those of you that are using a backpack, right? So I actually have my backpack here. I do have dumbbells. I do have a kettlebell, but for those of you that are getting creative at home, I'm gonna show you what we can do, okay? So with that backpack, it actually has a little handle here, so it's great. So just like we were at the gym, you're gonna go ahead and bring it down, okay? Another good way to do it is holding it sideways, okay? So like this, all right? So I would touch the floor, big shrug, extend catch, right? And then dip drive and stand. And that's my clean and jerk. And I'll bring it back down. I'll show you guys sideways. I'm sorry my video cuts me off up top, but I'm, I start I'm pressing all the way up, okay? So here I am. I'm gonna go ahead and start at position three. I'm going to extend all the way up, leading with that shrug into that high pull, into that rotation, catch, stand. I'm going to dip drive, land under, and stand and back down, okay? And up, oh my, contents are coming up. Okay, so that's what you guys want to do with your clean and your jerk. Um, after that, um, you go back to your box jump. So again, 15, 15, 15, you got three rounds and the goal is to finish this under 12 minutes, okay? All right, guys. Have fun with that.